Good morning, Jim. Uh, good morning. U-M-K-I. I'm sorry, we uh, doubled, uh, what was the uh, station? Yeah, they call Kilo Charlie to Mike Kilo India. And uh, we, we chatted, I think it was probably about a year ago, I, I, I suppose. And uh, uh, I haven't, uh, haven't heard you um, uh, since then. But the band has been pretty, uh, pretty awful, really, you know. <clears throat> but uh, boy, you're coming in here good uh, this uh, this morning, Joe. Dallas Bryan and uh, uh, Bravo Radio India Alpha November, located uh, near Niagara Falls or up off a lot um, uh, in that area there, actually. The small town of Medina, New York, today. I think you may have moved since uh, last spoke with you. Uh, pretty pretty bad copy right now. Just uh, maybe curious if you uh, checked your uh, ALC, take a look at your ALC level and uh, make sure your audio is uh, up because uh, it sounded like, a, you know, um, you were hit there real, you know, your, your peaks were, were there, but uh, uh, you might uh, need a little, just a little fattening. Uh, so if you wanted to uh, check your ALC, and uh, I usually go for, uh, instead of uh, in the middle of the ALC range, I usually work it a little bit towards the right-hand side. Uh, to, you know, your audio comes up quite a bit. Uh, your uh, compression ratio is, uh, turns out to be about uh, 3 dB. Roger, roger. I don't think I'd want to hit it any harder than I am. <laughs> um, uh, just about maxed out on it uh, in the uh, in, in that zone. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to say good morning and uh, I'm surprised. Uh, but yeah, I, I noticed your signal has dropped from uh, you were 15 over earlier and you're an S5 now. So the band is uh, doing its thing again. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, maybe it'll. Uh, Maybe it'll come back around. Uh, I am going to be working on my antenna system uh, and getting it, uh, getting it up a little bit higher in the air and in the clear. <laughs> um, as soon as the weather cooperates a little more, uh, it's uh, we're just getting getting through that storm that that come through uh, come through the. Uh, uh, rip through the country there. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, yeah, once things calm down a bit, I'm, I'm hoping to do it maybe uh, uh, tomorrow or Friday and uh, get this antenna system up a little bit better. Uh, I actually bought a drone uh, a while back and I'm going to have fun with that. And that's going to be my, uh, that's going to be the tool to do it, uh, Jim Robert. Oh, Roger, I bought one uh, about six months ago or eight months ago, and uh, that's what I was going to do with mine. I just uh, never have uh, had time to uh, do any pre-flight um, familiarization, you know, with the uh, controls, uh, which I think you would need that to be able to, uh, you know, actually do work with it. So um, I guess my first step is going to have to be to get out in the field and, um, you know, get those batteries charged up and get out in the field and uh, get uh, familiar with it. And then I'm going to use it to uh, do my uh, flyovers uh, to uh, take uh, uh, probably a fishing line over the top of some um, trees there and uh, pull up uh, some, um, you know, antenna stuff for slopers, Roger. Yeah, yeah, I um. <clears throat> I became aware of uh, how nicely that works for uh, putting antennas up, and I said, "I'm going to try it," you know. And uh, the, the, I, I went, I bought two drones. The, the first one I bought had uh, no no GPS on it, and uh, it turned out that that was a real bad move because what what happens is uh, if it's a, a real windy day. It'll act as a kite, and it'll just get blown away. <laughs> just get blown off course. 
So it took off on its own that day, and I landed it as fast as I could, and I returned it to the store. I said, nope, that, that's not going to work. Um, I bought one that had GPS on it, where you have to, uh, you know, you have to calibrate it with the GPS and everything. Uh, a lot like you would a, a, a cell phone. <clears throat> you spin it around in a circle flat, and then you point it down and spin it around in a circle. So anyway, uh, the GPS one works wonderful. I, uh, I actually thought I, and I was pretty discouraged in that first flight, but uh, th this one works wonderful. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's a, so easy to fly. So I, I, um, I, do, I do hope yours has GPS because that makes it a lot simpler. And um, yeah, uh, just practice on the sticks for a bit, you know. And uh, I'd say uh, a, a good uh, a good week of practice, and uh, you'll be good to go. It's uh, really easy to fly a mushroom over. Oh, Roger that, Roger that. Well, I figured out, uh, you know, spooling out about uh, 300 foot of um, fishing line and uh, about uh, maybe uh, 200 foot in front of the tree, and then uh, go straight up uh, to about uh, maybe uh, 200 feet or so, and then uh, take it over the tree, and then bring the plane down as best as possible, and uh, you know, take it from there. Roger, Roger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, with, uh, one of the tricks is to is you take it up as high as you can, or well, not as high as you can, but um, get it over that tree uh, nice and high. Um, you know, uh, probably almost uh, almost triple the tree's length in the air. <laughs> That way, when you bring it over, it's not going to get stuck on nothing. You're just basically scraping it all the top of it, you know. Um, so, uh, and then I've seen, I've seen guys, you know, when they're really, really good, they'll fly right through the branches and they'll put it right exactly where they want to put it, you know. I'm not that, I'm not that, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not that particular. Roger, I kind of faded out there right at the end. Uh, I, I don't think it was I on uh, 60 meters. I, I don't think I've got the intelligence to operate on 60 meters. <laughs> or the, I don't think my radio tunes uh, 60 meters anyway. Um, uh, maybe it was uh, 80 meters or uh, 20 meters or 15 meters, some, somewhere around there, Roger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
yeah, no, it was just the discussion <clears throat> about the 60 meter band. Um, and uh, yeah, we weren't uh, we weren't on the band, uh, but uh, uh, we were on 40 meters actually. Uh, and, uh, I can almost uh, almost guarantee we were on 40 meters. I, uh, this is my favorite band of all, you know, and I kind of uh, kind of a staple on 40. So uh, uh, it, it's just fun and, and uh, a lot of a lot of great people out here, you know. There, there really is. There's just some characters too, but uh, that's the entertainment factor, right? Oh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, the only thing I would wish uh, 40 was uh, be a little bit more stable, you know. That's the only thing about it. Uh, um, a lot of times lately, it's been taking a 20 and 40 dB fades, you know. And um, I would prefer, you know, if uh, 40 would act like 80, 80 just is. Uh, you know, so predictable. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that now. All of a sudden, it'll be, uh, you know, a, a great wasteland. But uh, so far, 80 uh, in the evening uh, uh, is uh, just a very stable band, you know. 40 uh, in the uh, daytime is uh, is good, but it uh, seems to have a lot of fades, and uh, that's uh, unfortunate, Roger. Yeah, it sure does. Um and, and sometimes I, I've I've watched guys go from uh, you know 15 uh, 15 dB and, and drop down to uh, you know into the into the noise level. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's very true. And uh, <clears throat> it, it's uh, it's been not not so good uh, during the uh, well let's see the late morning early afternoon. Um, I, I guess since uh, since about springtime uh, settled in, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, well, what can you do? Uh, yeah, later at night, uh, 80 meters is uh, is pretty stable, but oh my, my, oh my, it's noisy sometimes. <laughs> um, so the yeah, yeah, it gets awful noisy sometimes, Jim. But uh, especially when there's a uh, you know the storms around and stuff like that. So, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, forty's been tough. It really has been. <clears throat> um, but uh, I'm, I'm just glad it's it's working for us uh, <laughs> for the most part. You know, um, I've seen it. We're uh, uh, well. I, just yesterday, I, I wasn't able to talk to my friend Roger that I, I normally. Uh, would be able to talk to him. So, uh, uh, yeah, there was a, a case of it right there, you know. Um, yeah, Jim, today I'm running on the ICOM at 7300 and uh, about 500 watts into a off-center fed dipole. But uh, right now, part of the dipole is, uh, is actually coming vertically uh, down the the center of the tree, so that's no good. I've got to get it up, draped up over that tree, uh, so uh, uh, so it's got a, a cleaner shot. Um, but uh, yeah, that's where the drone's going to come in handy, Jim. Give us some. Oh, Roger that, Roger that. Well, let's see. We're kind of uh, getting close to our lunch hour, so I think we're going to jump out. Uh, uh, this uh, your call sign is uh, KC two M. Uh, K.I. Roger, and what's the name? Yeah, name's Brian. The name is Brian, and uh, you got the call 100% there. And, um, yeah, yeah, thanks for uh, uh, sticking around and, uh, and saying hello. Uh, I'll let you get, uh, get something to read there. And, uh, yeah, I'm just working on my first cup, my second cup of coffee, actually. And uh, see what, uh, what 40 meter brings us here today. It's a little, uh, a little better. Um, and uh, yeah, you were averaging you know, S9, S10. So, uh, and then you know the QSB would bring you down to a four or five. But uh, um, my my noise floor here is it's very quiet. This, this is actually Amish country, so <laughs> they they don't generate a lot of noise, uh, Jim. Uh, in my favor, you know, um, that's wonderful. 
But uh, hey, we'll say seven three straight to, to catch back up with you again here, Jim. And uh, I, I did enjoy the YouTube video last time. Um, that was uh, that was a pleasure to uh, uh, to uh, to experience. KV from Kilo Charlie to Mike Kilo India, uh, Western New York, seven three. Roger, Roger. Uh, yeah, we have been running uh, videotape uh, for Acuso Vlog, and uh, we'll probably uh, be uh, posting it. Unfortunately, there was a, you know, quite a bit of uh, fading, but uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, so it does have uh, some good moments where you can hear your your audio for sure. So um, we'll say uh, threes for now, and uh, if you go to YouTube in a couple of days, we'll have it posted, and you know, do the uh, call letter search thing uh, uh, on YouTube. Uh, KC9 VKV Kilo Charlie 9 Victor. Kilo Victor, and that'll take you to the page, and uh, uh, you'll uh, be able to see your uh, call sign uh, on the uh, title. Roger, Roger. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that, uh, I'll, I'll definitely do that and, uh, and check it out, Jim. So, uh, yeah, yeah, very good. I appreciate it. And uh, I read a little bit of your bio here, <clears throat> and uh, it's interesting. Right? You know, I was, uh, uh, I never got into the broadcast uh, world. But I, uh, I did do the uh, uh, the the amateur broadcasting, if you will, <laughs> um, uh, back when I was uh, you know 13, 14, something like that. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. We did, and uh, yeah, yeah. But I, I I was listening earlier, and uh, my my ham career was uh, a lot like yours, you know, uh, very much so. I. I had tr uh, trouble, you know, struggled with the code. I, I, I tried listening to tapes and everything, and, and I just, uh, I mean, boy, I just couldn't get a drill into my head, you know. <clears throat> so I could never get my license be for because of that. But uh, th thank God that those days are over. <laughs> and uh, we, we could finally uh, uh, get a, an amateur radio station going, Jim. 7-3, KC2, MKI, Western New York. Roger, Roger. Three's up that away. We enjoyed it. Um, we'll catch you uh, later, uh, hopefully next time uh, with uh, better conditions. So uh, threes again. Uh, this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor. Kilo Victor will be clear.